And this morning, show me the money. The holidays are right around the corner. Grocery stores will be very busy places in the days and weeks ahead. Food prices are a major concern for many, but there are things you can do to save. During the pandemic, we have uh, spent a lot of time learning how to make do with less. Um, in many cases, do more with less. Grocery stores have come a long way since the days of the pandemic. The grocery industry is doing well. Um, we, as you are aware, we've talked about before some of the supply chain challenges we had through the pandemic. I'm happy to report that uh, many of those are now alleviated. But now shoppers are dealing with another issue, inflation. Even though things are getting better, it has affected the way people shop. We're taking advantage of the promotions and the coupons and the other kinds of uh, sales that our grocery stores are making available to us. Leslie Saracen is the president and CEO of FMI, the Food Industry Association. You know, we will have always and will always be focused on price and quality. But I would say in recent years, we've also become much more focused on convenience. And because of that, stores have had to adapt. In their food service departments, in their deli departments, um, we can find lots of already prepared meals, lots of prepared side dishes, um, other things that we'd love to serve our families, but we don't necessarily have time or the inclination to make at home ourselves. You mentioned price and quality there. What about availability? Are you seeing any issues this year with some of those holiday staples being around? We are not seeing uh, issues on those issue, uh, issues on those products right now, and we're very relieved, as you might imagine. Especially with Thanksgiving quickly approaching. The good news is that turkeys are abundant and available. Our grocers tell us that they had have bought their turkeys um, several months ago, and so they are in the stores and available to be purchased. And they're even a little cheaper this year than they have been in the past. Uh, so it, it sounds like a good situation all the way around. With budgets being so tight this time of year, Leslie says there are ways to save during the holidays. If we shop ahead, if we plan ahead, we'll know before we get to the store what we're looking for. So we end up buying what we need rather than some of the things that become impulse buy, uh, impulse, impulse purchases for us. And as 2023 comes to a close, grocery stores are looking closely at trends heading into the new year. We've been talking with our shoppers about what their plans are as we move into 2024. Um, what they tell us is that they're very focused on cooking more at home and eating more at home, which of course is a great thing from our perspective. Other ways to save, Leslie suggests joining your store's loyalty rewards program, downloading their apps, and buying store brands.